you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 29th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 4 verses 26 to 34 He also said the kingdom of god is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day and the seed would sprout and grow he does not know how the earth produces of itself first the stalk then the head then the full grain in the head but when the grain is ripe at once he goes in with his sickle because the harvest has come he also said with what can be compared the kingdom of god or what parable will be used for it it is like a mustard seed which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the ground earth yet when it is sown it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its uh, share with many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it he did not speak to them except in parables but he explained everything in private to his disciples the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends here we have the two last parables told by mark in this short uh, gospel passages they are both images of the kingdom of god of god's truth and love spreading among people all over the world they are both taken from the world of agriculture a world that would have been very familiar to jesus listeners in the first god's work is compared to a farmer planting seed as in the parable of the sower the seed is the kingdom night and day the process of growth continues without any human intervention whether the farmer is awake or asleep the process of growth continues the seed sprouts and grows and he does not know how the outcome is certain once the seed is ripe it is for the farmer to bring in the harvest and that is our task to bring in the harvest which has been planted in the hearts of people in the words of the other parables it is up to us to throw the light which helps people see the truth and love of god already present in their deepest being in the second parable the kingdom is uh, compared to a mustard seed although one of the tiniest seeds it grows into a sizable shrub in which even birds can build their nests both of these parables are words of encouragement to the struggling church living in small scattered communities and surrounded surrounded by hostile elements ready to destroy it how amazed would the christians of those days be if they could see how the seed has grown and spread to the parts of the world of whose very existence they were totally unaware we today still need to have their trust and confidence in the power of the kingdom to survive and spread Mark says that Jesus spoke many parables in fact he only spoke in parables but the full meaning of his teaching was explained to his inner circles of uh, disciples those staying outside were not ready to take in the message they are the ones who were not hearing as Jesus told his disciples to do how sensitive is my hearing how sensitive is my hearing amen may god bless